in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to crossfade video in DaVinci Resolve 18. So here I already have my first video on the timeline. So now I'm going to drag the second video onto the timeline that I want to crossfade with. Now DaVinci Resolve gives you fade out controls directly on the timeline, but you can't see them unless first you increase the height of your video track. So on the left hand side, drag this track up. And now if you move your mouse over your video track, you will see this white fade out controller in the upper left corner of your clip. Now I'm going to do the same with my second video clip and increase its height here. Now you want to move the second clip to the place where the crossfade effect will overlap. Now just drag this fade out controller at the end of our first clip and do the same in the beginning of the second clip. Now what I'm going to do is move the playhead close to the crossfade section in this video and play the video to see what happens. Now you can make your crossfade slower by creating more space for the fade out effect to occur and adjusting these sliders farther to the edge. And if I play the video now, you'll see that now we have a nice gradual crossfade effect between two videos. Now there are times when you want to do the crossfade effect for two videos on the same track. So let's take a look at that example. Here I have two videos on the same track. So the first thing you want to do is go to effects. Now under dissolve, there's an effect called cross dissolve. You can preview effects by dragging your mouse left and right over that effect. Now drag this effect over the beginning of your first clip. Now I'm going to play this video and as you can see, it created a nice fade out effect. Now, if you drag this dissolve effect over the beginning of your second clip, it will actually crossfade between both clips automatically. Now to delete an effect from a video, simply click on the effect a rectangle and press delete. Now, if you want to make the crossfade effect longer, simply move your second clip right over the first one. And first let's play the video from the beginning and see what happens here. Now, if you think your crossfade effect is happening too quick and it's not gradual enough, you can drag the effect rectangle itself to increase the length of the crossfade effect. And so guys, this is pretty much how you do the crossfade effect for your video tracks in DaVinci Resolve 18.